The Easy Trade Manager Expert is offered for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the expert file for MetaTrader, or in MetaTrader, five platforms and run it on the chart. Traders can also refer to this page to understand how this expert works and operates. From the Navigator section, you select the expert file and run the expert on the chart by dragging the file. Study. You select the expert advisor file from the navigator section and execute the expert advisor by clicking the file on the chart. Just make sure to enable the allow this port to be checked option in the command section and then click the confirm option. Once the expert is activated on the chart, a trade management and capital management panel will be displayed on the chart. The Easy Trade Manager Expert is a practical and suitable tool for managing trades on the price chart. Traders can easily move the expert on the chart by clicking on the expert panel and place it in their desired position. In the upper part of the panel, there is a chart tab for us where selecting the first option shows a warning for us. By choosing the second option, the expert file is closed and removed from the chart and by selecting the new option, the expert file remains on the actual chart they should place. At the top of the panel, there is a chart tab for us. By selecting the first option, a warning will be displayed for us. If you choose the second option, the expert file will be closed and removed from the chart. By selecting the new option, the expert file will remain on the actual chart. In the next section, by selecting the second option, the expert will change to its minimum possible size, and you can only see the remaining time until the current candle closes in this area. By clicking this option again, the expert will exit the minimized state and return to its default mode. You can only see the remaining time until the current candle closes in this section. By clicking this option again, the expert will exit the minimized state and revert to its default mode. In the next section, you can choose the expert team. By default, the light mode is selected. Switch the chart template from light to dark mode by selecting option 3. There are two modes, light and dark, available here, with the default being light. The template set on the chart can easily be switched from light to dark mode by selecting option 3. Change it. Here, you can make various changes and activate or deactivate different statuses, which are displayed for us in a list in this section. If we click on the buy or sell buttons used for opening and closing, a notification message will pop up for each position we click on, showing information like the type of position. If we click on the buy or sell buttons used for opening and closing, a notification message will pop up for each position. We click on, showing information like the type of position the symbol of the asset being traded, the entry price, and the trade volume, which you can see in this section. Position. In this section, you can see the asset symbol, entry price, and trade volume. Selecting Yes executes your position, while No leaves it. By choosing Yes, I open a trade, showing my entry point, take profit, and stop loss. I can close the position if needed. To open an order with one click, I activate the one click trading option. My take profit and stop loss are set here, and by selecting this option, I can close the position if needed. To open an order with one click, and without needing confirmation, I can activate the one click trading option. With one click trading activated, you can easily execute trades instantly. Ding Electric Bank. You can easily execute trades instantly. Here we see that a sell trade has been executed for me. The entry point of the trade along with the take profit. In the next section, you can activate or deactivate the take profit status. By disabling this option, only the entry point along with the stop loss will be displayed for you and a take profit will not be set here. By disabling this option, only the entry point along with the stop loss will be displayed for you and a take profit will not be set here. It doesn't say. I will change it to a more expanded view. In the next section, you can activate or deactivate the SL stop loss status by disabling this option. Only the entry point will be displayed for you and it will prevent the display of SL and take profit because it does because the take profit 
is based on the amount of seasonal loss and is displayed on the chart. If you don't have a stop loss, the take profit won't be executed for you either. Activate virtual TPSL to switch trades to virtual mode. In MetaTrader 4, TP and SL can't be moved, but MetaTrader 5 allows easy adjustments. For example, here I am opening a buy trade. In the MetaTrader 4 platform, you can't move TP and SL, but this feature is available in the MetaTrader 5 platform, where you can easily adjust your TP and SL. In the MetaTrader 5 platform, you can see the point value and other information in your trade. When you activate the virtual TPSL option, your position changes from server mode to expired mode, allowing you to easily manage your trades, adjust your take profit along with your stop loss. Also, on the right side of the screen, you can see the price tags. You can see other information at the level of your trade when you activate the virtual tpsl option your position changes from server mode to expired mode allowing you to manage your trades and adjust your take profit along with your stop loss additionally on the right side of the screen you can see the price tags by double clicking on the sl or tp level you can pin it which means it won't be movable we can see that our tp is currently pinned but we have pinned the sl here by double clicking again on the sl we can move it and change it from pinned to unpinned you can also see price tags on the right side of the selected item and also by double clicking on the SL or TP level you can set it as a pin which cannot be moved we see that our TP is right above that pin but we pin the SL here by double clicking on the SL again we see that we can easily move it and change it from pin mode to that pin. In the next section, you can activate or deactivate the partial close option at the entry point. By default, the partial close option is set here for us, and by disabling this option, the partial close feature will be turned off and will not be displayed. By activating the TPSL feature, if you opened a trade in the past, and attach the expert, your trade will be added to the expert list. Here I add the expert, I opened a trade, and selecting show all TPSL feature, my trade joins the server. For easy management, activating the show boxes feature, the distance from the entry point to SL shows a red box, and the distance to TP shows a green box, so traders can easily see their take profit and stop loss levels. I add the expert here. In the past I opened a trade, and by selecting the show all TPSL option, my trade becomes part of the server, allowing me to easily manage my trade, and execute changes here. In the next section, by activating the show boxes option, it displays the distance from the entry point to SL with a red box, and the distance from the entry point to TP with a green box, so traders can easily see their take profit and stop loss levels. In the next section, you can see the options you want for your trade, and manage your positions. The distance from the entry point to SL is displayed with a red box, and the distance from the entry point to TP is marked with a green box, so traders can easily see their take profit and stop loss levels. See trade options. Selecting buy opens a trade. Entry in purple. Stop loss in red. Take profit in green. Shows position type, entry, volume, and current profit or loss. By selecting the buy option, it opens a buy trade for you, where the entry point is displayed in purple, your stop loss level in red, and your take profit level in green. It also shows the type of your position here, including the entry point. In this section, you can see the trade volume along with your take profit and stop loss levels, showing how much profit or loss you are currently at. Additionally, in the stop loss section, you can view your stop loss level along with the amount of your potential loss if your stop loss is activated. In the next section, you can see your take profit level along with the amount of profit you would make if the price reaches the take profit. In addition, in the stop loss section, you can see your stop loss level along with the amount of your potential loss if your stop loss is activated. In the next section, you can see your take profit level though along with the amount of profit you would make if the price reaches the take profit. In the next section, you can activate or deactivate the pending options. For example, here I am 
selecting a buy pending order. With my first click, I can set my entry point if I have selected the buy pending option and consider my entry level above the current price level. The server automatically sets this option as a buy stop. If my entry point is lower than the price, it's a buy limit. Selecting yes registers it as pending, no cancels it. Pending orders confirm if registered, else deactivate. Select yes to register or no to cancel your pending order. Registered orders are confirmed. Second click, set stop loss. Third sets take profit. Misplaced stop loss and take profit are corrected automatically. If this option is enabled, the pending options will be enabled for you for 60 seconds. If the pending option is disabled, your pending option will be disabled, and otherwise, the pending option will be disabled for you. Selecting the second click specifies the stop loss level, and the third click shows the take profit level. Mistakenly placing stop loss and take profit in the wrong position, server corrects the levels and registers your order. Select input volume. Top left increases by 0.01, top right decreases by 0.01, bottom left 0.1, bottom right 0.1, min volume 0, not negative. It registers your pending order. In the next section, you can choose your input volume, which is initially set to a default value of 1 lot. By selecting the option at the top left, you can increase your volume by 100th, and by selecting the option at the top right, you can decrease your volume by 100th. By selecting the option at the bottom left, you can increase your input volume by 1 10th, and by selecting the option at the bottom right, you can decrease your input volume by 1 10th. The minimum volume you can select is 0, and this amount cannot be negative. I will set it back to the default value of 1 lot. In the next section, you can specify your risk to reward ratio, which is initially set to a ratio of 2, decreased by 100th. By 100th, by selecting the lower left option, you can increase the input volume by 1 tenth, and also by selecting the lower right option, you can decrease the input volume by 1 tenth, and the lowest volume value you can select is 0, and this value has no negative value. Set default to 1 lot. Risk to reward starts at 2. Choose 1 to 5. Selling considers 1 to 4 ratio. Loss $100. Profit $400. Choose stop loss type. Pips. Percent. Dollars. Enter desired amount. Choose an amount between 1 and a reward ratio of 5. If I open a sell trade, it considers a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 4, meaning my max loss is $100 and my target profit is $400. Next, choose the stop loss type, pips, percentage, or dollars. Enter the desired amount, initially set to dollars. Activate this to enter your stop loss in pips. I will change this amount to 3. Next, choose the stop loss type, pips, percentage, or dollars. Enter the desired amount for each. Default is $100 stop loss. Activate to enter stop loss in pips. Use this volume in future trades. Stop loss is 2000 pips. Max loss $100. Risk to reward is 1 to 3. It's dollars. And in this section, $100 is considered. Here, consider your input volume as $100. Activating this, you can enter your stop loss based on pips. E.g., enter 2000 pips. And it will specify my input volume. In future, you can enter with this volume, e.g., I set my stop loss as 2000 pips, and $100 will be my maximum loss. Finally, it will consider a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 3 for me. Next, you can choose the percentage option, where you enter the percentage amount here, along with. In future trades, they can enter with this volume. For example, here I have set my stop loss to be 2000 pips, with $100 as my maximum loss. And finally, it will consider a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 3 for me. Select percentage option, enter percentage and pip amount based on balance. Input 1000 pips with 1. Your pip amount, which is calculated based on your balance percentage, can be entered in the next section. For example, I will enter 1000 pips here along with $100, which is the dollar amount that needs to be entered. In this section, your pip amount will be considered, and my input volume is set to one lot. So, it opens my trade here. With $100 and a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 3.
In the next section, selecting the mambo, close last, option will close your last position in order. In the next section, selecting, close, all will close all your positions. And in the next section, selecting, break even, all will eliminate all your profitable positions and move your stop loss to the entry point. I'm going to open a few buy and sell trades, selecting the close last option, close the last position, and close the last position. Select close all to close all positions. Select close last to close the last position. Select close all to close all positions. Select break. Even if profit exceeds stop level. I'm opening trades here. I hit buy. If you have several trades on the chart, by selecting the close all option, all your positions will be closed simultaneously. If you're in profit and your profit amount is greater than your stop level, you can select the break even option to move your stop loss from its previous level to your entry point, allowing you to trade risk free. If your profit exceeds your stop level, select break. Even to move your stop loss to your entry point, trading risk free. Alternatively, choose break all to move all profitable positions to your entry point. In the next section, choose partial close to close half of your trade. We are at a volume of one lot. Selecting partial close reduces it to half a lot. Selecting it again closes the remaining trade. Or by simply selecting the break all option, you can easily and effortlessly move all of your current open profitable positions to your entry point. In the next section, by selecting the partial close option, it will close half of your trade in this part. As you can see, we are currently at a volume of one lot, and by selecting the partial close option, it closed half of my trade here, reducing my trade volume to half a lot. By selecting it again, it will close the other half of the trade upwards meaning it closes more of the trade volume in this section until eventually my entire trade is closed. In the last section, you can also see the remaining time until the current candle closes, which is in a one hour time frame, and there are 40 minutes left. This means that most of the transaction volume is closed in this section until my entire transaction is closed. And in the last section, you can see the amount of time left until the current candle closes which is in the one hour and 40 minutes time frame. My current candle will close here and move into the next candle. Well, friends, we've reached the end of the expert tutorial. We would be happy if you could share your comments and suggestions with us in the comments section.